Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Timeout. So today we are going to discuss another problem and that's called Gameplay Analysis 1. The link to the problem is in the description, so please go ahead and check it out. Now let us start the problem. So we are given with a table that's called Activity and it has these columns Player ID, Device ID, Event Date and Games Played. Player ID and Event Date is the primary key of this table this table shows the activity of players of some games. Each row is a record of a player who logged in and played a number of games, possibly zero, before logging out on some day using some device. Write an SQL query to report the first login date for each player. Return the result table in any order. The query result format is in the following example. So we have this bunch of players and these are the device IDs. These are the event dates and on these particular dates, they played these many games. Now what we are asked to find here is the first login date for each player. So player ID 1 logged in first time on 1st of March 2016. Player ID 2 logged in the first time on 25th of June 2017. And player number 3, he logged in the first time on 2nd of March 2016 and that's what the result set displayed. So to solve this problem I am going to use again the rank function not the dense rank function because I don't think it's relevant here because we only need to find the first time the player logged in and obviously even if he logs in twice on the same date we are still going to get the desired result. So Let's see how we do this. I'm going to do a select player underscore ID and then the event date. Then the dense rank. Oh, well, let's use just rank like I mentioned. Over, and it's going to be partitioned by the player ID and ordered by the event date in the ascending order and I'm going to call this say R and K and it's going to be from the table activity the entire thing I'm going to put into a subquery so this is how it will play out right now again we are going to have select select player ID and then the event date as first login and the last part is to satisfy the condition that the event date is the minimum so it's going to be where R and K equals 1. Now let us go ahead and run the query. Sorry I missed the from clause. It worked and our result was successfully submitted. So this is one way of solving the problem. However, I am tempted to point out that this looks like a rather complicated solution to an easy problem, right? So there must be a simpler solution and if you have been thinking that, yes, you are right. So we can solve it in another way using window function and that window function is minimum. So I'll just get rid of all this part and you'll see how simple the solution is. Event date, t underscore date from the table activity and it's group by player ID and I'm also going to alias the minimum value as first login date so it's going to be first login okay right so now let's run this code And it worked.
better. So this is a much simpler version of the solution and I would also suggest that you have a look at the minimum function, how it works and a bunch of other window functions that could be very much useful. Thanks for joining me on this video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get instant updates. More videos coming up. Stay tuned.